Hey everybody, this is Dave, and welcome to CSS Transitions. Uh, in this quick tutorial, we're going to talk about some basic, what I would call on and off, or um, quick transitions that are going to work on colors and shapes and things like that. So basically what we have here is a blank canvas. We have a page with uh, one div in the center called box, and we're linking to a CSS sheet called transitions.css. All right. And so let's do some quick styling. We're going to change the body to probably a dark gray. Okay, so we'll save that out and refresh it. Perfect. There we go. Now we got our box class. Oops. And so we want this to be white so it stands out. And we're going to use a width of 400 pixels and a height of 400 pixels, so it'll be a perfect square. And position it relative. And we're gonna do margin zero auto, so it should put it right in the middle for us. Okay, now we're gonna come down off the top a little bit, so we're if I can type we can. <laughs> there we go. All right, so basically that's kind of centered. I don't know exactly how perfect it is, but um, now from there, uh, that's pretty much it we need to do for the styling. Now what we're going to work on is changing, at first we're going to change the color from white to another color. All right, and so we're going to talk about this a little bit, but this is a transition property. And the property we're going to transition is the background. Okay, and how we're going to do that is we're going to transition that color change on hover okay so how we do that is box hover there we go all right and we're going to background to blue okay and so if we save and refresh the page we see it works and it's instant all right and so what we would want to do though is usually that's not really that of an effect right so we want to do some we want it to take a little bit of time right so we'll do a transition duration and uh, let's say two seconds there we go we'll save that out refresh it and look at that nice little smooth transition um, basically the default transition itself uh, is easing or excuse me it's linear all right but we could do ease in let's see how that works right so ease in is a slow beginning and then a quick kind of quickens up at the end right so slow 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 bang fast all right um, and so we've got a duration of two so now one of the oldest tricks in the book uh, to create a circle is to take a perfect square and put border radius of 50% on each of the corners, right? So let's do that. And we'll affect that on hover as well. And how we do that is we just simply add border radius to our transition property. Okay. And so now normally you can do, you can set your, it's just like mar margins where you can set your different corners but in this case, we're just going to do 50% for all of them so that it will actually give us a circle, right? So we'll refresh. And now it turns blue, and we also turn into a circle. Pretty cool, I got to say. Okay, so what if we want to do something just a little bit cooler, and we want this to kind of invert itself, right? So what we can use is the rotate on the y-axis. And we'll do this 180 degrees. So basically we have a, a complete inversion, right? And so now we also have to add transform to the transition property, right? So we'll save that and we'll refresh it. And boom, there we go. And it flips and inverts itself 180 degrees. So there you have it. There is transitions, CSS transitions in a nutshell. Thanks for watching and I hope this was informative.